Leslie here with Flat Train Furniture, and we're live, airing our first broadcast show live for you. So if you have any comments, we'd love for you to join us. We're, today we're featuring J and K Interiors, and I want to introduce Julia and Hi, Crystal. Hello. And we're down here at 6555 Burnett Road, Suite 600 inside our lovely showroom at Quattrine Furniture today. And we're so thankful to have Jane K Interiors joining us today. You guys have a special story about how you met. So let's just get right into that. All right. Well, <laughs> we, we joke that it is special, but not really. Um, we met a little over a year ago and we were both in continuing education classes and struck up a conversation and found out that we had a lot of commonality um, in our backgrounds, but also diversity in our backgrounds. And this is not our first career, so mm -hmm. this is our, uh, my third, Julia's third, third, third. Yeah. Um, but we both have a passion for decorating and um, really just hit it off and decided, really in the beginning, neither of us had plans to join forces with anyone. We were going to do it on our own, mm -hmm. and the more we talked and the more time we spent together, we just thought, you know, let's just do this. It just, it feels good, it feels right, it makes sense, and we felt like there was a lot of synergy between the two of us to do this uh, together. So. Great. And we have JK Interiors. Wow, that's great. We both love collaborating, so okay. that's why our tagline is a collaboration. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's talk about a little bit about your background. So, okay. Julia, why don't you start? How did you first come to Austin? Well, I am originally from San Diego, California, and I lived there most of my life. And my husband and I both decided to sell our practices there. Uh, I was a wealth manager in San Diego, and we sold our practices at the same time, and then we decided to take off and travel and just explore, and we've been traveling, we have been traveling for a number of years, living in different states in, across the U.S., and we settled on Austin. We decided that we wanted to, we were looking for our hearts, and we found our hearts in Austin, Texas, so Yay, we settled down great. here. Yeah, we settled here about a, a two and a half years ago. So we've been here for two and a half years. And at the same time, I was also, I, I've been a consultant for 16 years and I wanted to, I knew that I wanted to still stay in a, in a consult, have a consulting business, but I wanted to be in a career that was a little bit more, or a field that was a little bit more creative. So I was also doing that while I was traveling and I realized that through being a real estate agent, I did that for a sh very brief period of time and realized wow. that it wasn't actually selling real estate that I was that interested in. I was more interested in the I soft lived. goods and the decor <laughs> and what's inside the home. And so that's what helped me realize that being a, de a decorating consultant was what I really wanted to do. That was my true passion. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's great. That's so glad to you. Well, uh, I've lived in Austin for over 40 years, so it's home, and uh, my husband and I have been married almost 40 years, and we bought a home right before we got married and began renovations. It's a 1939 home in central Austin. Which is how we met. Which is how Leslie and I met, <laughs> and uh, doing, working on our lighting plan. Yeah. And... Uh, so it was my first foray into design and decorating, and by default, I became the designer of this home. And I uh, don't recommend that for people. <laughs> Hire us. Hire the designer before you get into it. Um, but in the process, I found that I, I really had a passion for it, and I loved the process, and I loved, uh, I found I had an affinity for it. So you know, time passed and we got into the house and we love it and I wanted to share that with others. I wanted to be a part of a collaboration with clients to to give them a home or a space that they enjoy as much as I enjoy. Mm -hmm. That's great. 
but it also went on before uh, beyond that, right? Because you had people actually asking you, hey, where'd you get that? Yes, yes. And it was very funny because we would um, we would have parties and, and people would come in to the house and of course, you know, you move into a new house and you want to show it off. And it was fun and everyone said, oh, who's your designer? And <laughs> we kind of giggle and say, well, that was kind of me, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. That's great. A lot of, a lot of affirmation that you were on the right path. Absolutely. And that's so critical. Um, me and Julie and I talk about this all the time, about how joyful we are that we both found something to work on uh, that doesn't, mm -hmm. doesn't feel like work. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah, you get to play in your work. Absolutely. Isn't that fun? It's create. Yeah. create. Totally fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. Makes life worthwhile. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about what you guys specialize in. Well, we specialize in <laughs> if you have many a specialty. We specialize, but, honestly, we specialize in listening to our clients. Our clients, it's all about the client. It's not about us. We're not trying to recreate the same style over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. um, we really, that, that's the most important thing to us is to make sure that our clients understand that we, we're, it's about them and their vision. We help them create a vision. Some people already have a vision. Some people need help with that vision. But um, that's really our main specialty. It, is. it really is. And I, you know, we can't say it enough. The collaboration between mm -hmm. us and the client is critical. And like Julia said, some people have a very clear cut vision of what they want their space to be. Some people have it's, it really boils down to priorities, I think, um, in the home or in the office. And so uh, we, if they don't have a clear-cut vision, then it gets right back to what she said, which is all about listening. We have that interaction. We consult with them, and we try to draw out of them what it is that they're looking for. And, and that takes some time, but we're both very intuitive, and we're both very good listeners, and that really is, I think, such an important part of this process. So oh, yeah, yeah, you have to be intuitive to be a yeah. designer, really. Yeah, and we yeah. really love people, and that's something that I think can set us apart. I mean, we really—that's the thing, our favorite part—is really getting to know our clients, getting to know what speaks to them, what they're inspired by, and that's fun for us because every time we work with a new client, it's it's a brand. I mean, it really is a brand new. Experience. experience. Mm -hmm. we never and that's the fun of it. Mm -hmm. It really is. So, okay. And what are some of the tools that you use to draw out people's dreams and visions? Well, I think we talk a lot to people about what they do, what their goals are for the space, what their goals are in life. Uh, Let's be honest, people like to talk about themselves. <laughs> yeah, but that's yeah. good, right? So, I mean, you're good at asking fun, questions. Right? So if yeah. you know, asking open ended you can, questions. You can ask a question. Uh, you may see something in their home that looks unique, and you say, oh, tell, tell me about that piece. And they may have a very lengthy story about how and where and why they have that piece in their home. And that may be an inspiration for us. Mm -hmm. down the road. Um, but it also puts them at ease and lets them know we care, we are listening, and we want to focus on them. And it, as Julia said, we can't emphasize it enough. It's not about us. It's about the client. Okay. Great. So right now we're going to open it up to the audience to see if anyone has any questions that are coming across on um, the site or live in our studio audience. Is there anybody that has any questions? I have a question. Um, I just bought a house out at the lake and it has a view of the lake. And I like, I like to fish, but I don't want it to look real beachy, lakey, you know, mm -hmm. like all about fishing and right. all that. Right, a sign, gone fishing, right, yeah. right. <laughs> right above your front door. <laughs> right, I don't want that look, yeah. and a lot of people think I should do that, but I like rustic, 
but I still like sleep. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the things I don't like about the house that I bought, it has painted white brick on the fireplace. So is there anything you could think of that might kind of go with some type of material for the fireplace that would kind of go along with what I'm doing or any tips you might have to achieve the look? That's a lot of texture, and it's, uh, I'm curious, I would love to see this place actually. Mm -hmm. uh, painted white brick is, um, is a statement. Mm -hmm. uh, uh -huh. You can always paint. You know, we talk about how paint is one of the uh, easiest and quickest ways to make a real change mm -hmm. and, and get the, a bang for your buck. Um, think as far as not wanting to focus on the fishing theme. Mm -hmm. I get that. I can appreciate mm -hmm. that. I think it might be fun, though, to include some of the personal items. Uh, some whimsical items. Something, yeah, something whimsical. whimsical that you've either accumulated over time or, I don't know, do you, do you mount your fish? No. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, some people do. Um, and that's important she to eats them. them, right? <laughs> I catch and release. You're oh, catch you're, and release. Oh, that's great. Right. That's, right. that's awesome. Well, cool. color, I think, is color. always um, one of the best or, or, or ways to achieve yeah. whatever look you're going for. I mean, you don't mm -hmm. have to have signs that say we're gone fishing or we're beachy. You don't have to have shells and you don't have to have, you know, an anchor on the wall or a uh, life-saving, life-saving, uh, what do you call those? Black life life Well, you don't need to have that kind of stuff hanging around, but you can have blues and, you know, you can think of, think about what colors, when you imagine yourself fishing, fishing or at the beach, I mean, you think blue probably, right? right. So, I mean, that's, but then there's so many different shades, tints of blue, values of blue. So, um, but color is definitely a big, way to evoke a certain emotion, whatever emotion you're looking to, whatever you're looking for. So we would ask what clients lots of questions, probing questions to really figure out exactly what it is that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. um, it's really common for people to know what they don't like. So that's what we find a lot when we're meeting with clients is that they, a lot of times it's so easy for people to say, well, I don't like this and I don't like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we want to figure out, well, what do, what do you like? And it's, um, and not everyone knows. So we would want to take a tour of the space, absolutely. go into your closet, look at your clothes, see what colors you wear regularly. Oh, that's that's one, one way to kind of get hints. So we have little tricks like that, ways that, we see things differently. We look at things differently. So sometimes it's just a vibe we pick up on, right? Yeah. But I think you're right. All the questions um, really have to be asked. <clears throat> and and we definitely, you know, initially we, we like to talk to the client on the phone and just introduce each other and, and get a feel for what the client is looking for. And we try to explain what we do. And then definitely, like Julia said, we would want to tour the space. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there may be one thing uh, in the process of talking with you and, and that you haven't thought of. And it may come out in that conversation and you may say, oh, wait, there's this one piece and let me go get it. And it's stuck in the back of the closet. And, and we like to do that. We, you know, we, we love to come in and fully decorate a space, but we also love to use things and, and reuse and recycle things that people already have because they're important to them. They kept them for a reason. Right. So, yeah. Sounds like a great space. It is. It is. And <laughs> it's going to be my permanent home. Awesome. Um, and it was a doctor's lake house. So wow, it's sure white, it's, it's got the theme. Oh. Of a lake house. That's great. But I'm wanting to incorporate it being my primary home. Mm -hmm. You want to make it yours? Yeah. yeah. Well, well, thank you. Thank you. So what was the best advice you guys were ever given for design? Well, I don't know if I was 
ever given this advice for design, but it's it, it's something I say all the time with clients. Um, but that nobody knows you better than you know yourself. Mm -hmm. And I think that's good advice for life in general, something to keep in mind. But we're always we're part of the when we get to know clients, we we know when we sit down with somebody that they really deep down inside know what they want. They just need a little bit of help uncovering that, cutting out all of the noise. Mm -hmm. So I always encourage my clients to, to listen to themselves. Nobody knows it better than they know themselves. Great, Judy. That's mm -hmm. great. And Crystal, what was the best design advice you've ever gotten? This was actually from a designer whom I admire very much. And she said, trust your instincts. And I think that's important in life in general. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Mm -hmm. Completely. So yeah. that's that is something that Julie and kind I really along. it really does go along with our philosophy. Um, so yeah, I think that's it's important. Yeah, a design should be fun in your home. I mean, mm -hmm. that's where you live. You have you're there, you know, whenever you're not out doing something or at work or whatever. And so you should be able to come into a space that actually brings you up and lifts you up mm -hmm. when you're and whatever that is, and it's different for everybody. And if you want yellow and pink polka dots all over your house, we are happy to give that to you. We're on it. <laughs> we <Yeah. are. laughs> we're just doing it in a very. <laughs> we may add some pieces that soften that. We'll but, make sure uh, yeah. that everything is the right size and proportion and all of that. We'll make it look good. Yeah. <laughs> but well, if that... that's going to make you happy, we're, we want to give that to you. Right. And that's actually what a great designer does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They bring out the best part of you, the part of you that that is fun and playful and lifts you up, you know, and then also helps you to organize stuff, you know, so that it's not like a museum when you walk in right. and you don't want to touch anything, mm -hmm. but it's actually functional mm -hmm. but beautiful at right. the same time. Yeah, we like to say that we specialize in functional decor, you know, we all think a lot of people Absolutely. are afraid that a designer is going to come in and add a bunch of tchotchkes everywhere and make it look, you know, just not, not right. <laughs> cluttered, cluttered. Mm -hmm. So that's something that we want each piece to have a place of honor in yeah. your home. And there's lots of ways of achieving that. Yeah. I have noticed, you know, in my time here in Austin, that a lot of the homes have, do, uh, do have a lot of stuff in them. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. So sometimes our job as designers, I think, is to, um, is to, you know, help people to decipher what is the thing that lifts them up mm -hmm. and move the other stuff away. Mm -hmm. right? right. And they might need a professional organizer, you know, and that there are some, there are cases like that mm -hmm. where we might suggest to a client that they bring in a professional organizer first, and then we would come in. You know, let's clear out half of this stuff, and then we can really truly see what's important to you. We can get the process started, and then sometimes you need other people. Mm -hmm. Bring in other professionals. Collaboration. Yeah, collaboration. It's all about exactly. collaboration. <laughs> and so you guys have a design tip for everybody that you have put together. So why don't we go ahead and, <laughs> and share that with everybody out there? Mm -hmm. I think the number one tip that we can give to a client is to really think about your spending plan. Mm -hmm. What is your budget? What is priority one for you? What you really want to spend the most on? Um, I think a lot of people go into it and they say, oh, I don't have a budget. Or, well, just let me know how much you think it's going to cost. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that can that range can be very quite big. large. Yeah. <laughs> so everyone's different, just like everyone has different style, tastes, and preferences. Everyone has a different bank account, and we want to be respectful of that. And so we really encourage our clients to think about that for themselves, and also for us. Mm -hmm. It gives us direction and parameters. And it just helps every everything in the process go much smoother. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, that's, that's what I was, we feel pretty strongly about. I that. have a lot of experience working with 
budgets because I was a wealth manager for 15 years. So I don't let we, we don't let our clients get off easily with that because a lot of people people have many different ways of kind of skirting that question. Mm -hmm. But it's extremely important. And if you don't if you really don't know what your budget is, that's okay. We can help you. We have many different ways, many different tricks and different ways to help you figure out what's appropriate, what's an appropriate amount to spend on certain items. We can help you prioritize, figure out, okay, well, let's work on this first. Let's get some task completion. Let's, you know, finish this room or this little area, this small area of your home or business office, whatever, whatever space, you know, whatever it is we're, we're decorating. Um, so it's very, very important. And there's no judgment from us. It doesn't matter what your budget is. We yeah. know, every, you know, yeah. everyone is in a different phase of life. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And you might be renting or you might be only spending, planning on spending a couple of years in this one space. So if that's the case, then, you know, we don't want to spend, you might not want to spend too much right now. Mm -hmm. So there's no judgment there. It's just, we need it. It's not a fun, to do our not job. A fun topic for anybody. But we have to talk about it. Yeah, it's so, probably one of the most important. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. At least have a range. It doesn't have to be to the penny, but yeah. at least start having a range to start with, and then we can work with work with that. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much for that tip. And uh, where can everybody get a hold of you guys? Our website is jkinteriorsatx.com. That's the best way. You can fill out a contact form on the site, and we'll contact you. And our phone numbers are there. And both of, both, of, both of our phone <laughs> numbers are there. <laughs> Julia and Crystal. Yes. <laughs> okay, great. Well, thank you so much for coming. Uh, thank you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so and much. I've really enjoyed connecting with you again. Thank so you. that's thank been you. awesome. Thank yeah. you so much. And I'm so glad you guys are doing the work here in Austin because, you know, it's a lot of fun to be here in Austin and do this kind of design work. Yeah. yeah. And I must say really quick before, our, if our, did we already shut the cameras off? No. Yeah. I have to say that Quatri, I love Quatri. <laughs> yeah. She did not tell me to say that, but I have a Quatri chair in my own home, and it's the most comfortable chair I've ever sat in in my life, and I love it, and it's where my husband and I read at night, and it's just, I want to sit in it all the time, so I'm it's very, great. we're very happy to be collaborating with Quatri. It's Absolutely. very nice to have a custom furniture store here that really has that's eco-friendly, that really is high quality. Um, there's lots of choices for fabrics and it's just, it's amazing. We can create whatever we want. We can come it's in here and awesome. have a design drawn <laughs> up and Quatrain will make it for us. So it's a really great, you guys are a great partner for us. Oh, thank you, Julia, that's really beautiful. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Yeah, okay. I appreciate it. Okay, everybody, well, we're out of time. And uh, so please come down and visit the showroom here at Quatrain. We're at 6555 Burnett Road, Suite 600 in Austin, and we hope to see you soon. Bye. Bye.